The case mix index is a measure of expected resource utilization. More complex cases require greater amounts of resources and case mix gives a way to measure it. The CFO of a healthcare company takes the CMI very seriously. It is used in determining the hospital's budget. If the hospital's actual CMI turns out to be less than what the finance department predicted, the hospital may experience a loss in revenue and even seemingly small changes in CMI have a large effect on the hospital's bottom line. A large CMI is a matter of prestige and may even be a driver of market share for a hospital. Here's how it's calculated. Identify your patient population, get the DRG for each patient, and add all the associated relative weights. Now, divide by the number of patients in your population. A CMI can be computed for an entire hospital based on its entire patient population or any group of patients. Scalability Experts Case Mix Dashboard has two graphical data presentations. In the top right corner of the page is a radar chart showing case mix broken out by financial class for the three hospitals in the system. Each of the concentric pentagons represents a particular value of CMI and is labeled with that value. Points farther out towards the outer perimeter have a higher value. Read the values from the labels or position the cursor over the data point to get a pop-up tip displaying the CMI. The radar chart has a slicer for choosing the time frame. Beneath the radar chart is a bar chart showing CMI for the most recent three months, grouped by financial class. On this dashboard, you have four slicers that apply to both graphical presentations, major diagnostic category, facility, type of physician, contract, or employee, and admission source. Use these slicers to define the patient population you are interested in and get an instant calculation of the case mix index for it. Whenever you use the slicers to limit to a patient population of interest, you will get a count of the number of patients included from the encounters selected table. Would you ever want to know which patients are included in your selection or which physicians are doing the work? You can get this information easily. Just right click on the number and go to Additional Actions, where you will see the choices Show Admit and Discharge Information, Show All Case Summary Information, Show Patient Information, and Show Procedures. Choosing one of these causes the information to be downloaded to a spreadsheet. Note that even thousands of lines of data can be downloaded in a few seconds. How would you like to use this information in your organization? If your CMI drops, could it be a sign of change in surgical or medical volumes? If your hospital's CMI is lower than other hospitals in your area, could it be a sign that your hospital is not capturing the complications and comorbidities associated with accounts and higher weighted DRGs? Might a low CMI denote DRG assignments that do not adequately reflect the resources used to treat Medicare patients? You can only see these problems if you can see your CMI.